shit started. This fucking lighting is freaking me out. Thanks for the sound, man. Last time it was just, you know, here's the thing, you need the illusion of comedy, like you have to at least have the amplification or else it's just a crazy person screaming in front of a bunch of people, and that's fine, but it's nice to at least be able to pretend. Uh, and sure, these are all the same people that scream in front of each other on a weekly basis anyway, but still, it's nice to be able to pretend. I think that the stand-up comedy scene in Albuquerque is really just, it's like some weird sort of reverse AA. It's a bunch of alcoholics that like to get together and tell stories once a week. It's fine. Share. There's some smokers in the audience, right? We're at a hookah lounge. Smokers? Any smokers out there? Yeah. Yeah. You ever, you ever get really drunk and you light your cigarette backwards? And your mouth tastes like shit for a while? <laughs> Like you ever, you ever smoke a whole cigar in a night because somebody had a kid, but it makes you feel like shit and kind of ruins your whole evening? <laughs> <laughs> you ever, you ever forget that you loaned your pipe to a buddy to smoke some salvia, so the next time you try to take a hit of weed, you gotta peer into another dimension of the fucking universe? <laughs> next five of life? Anybody? That just me? Right on. Yeah. It's like, wait a minute, that didn't taste like, oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck you, Rusty. <laughs> sucks. I'm trying to think of a good rape joke, but, <laughs> but you know, you can't force it. <laughs> just let that one come. Just let that one happen. My penis is a lot like my laptop. It's old, sluggish, and riddled with viruses. <laughs> Trying to come up with some one-liners, Jeff. <laughs> Woo! Good times. I was talking about uh, illicit sex with strange partners the other day with a friend, and he's like, well, yeah, go for it, man. What's the worst that can happen? Herpes? It's like, oh, dear God, no. I can think of five things worse than herpes immediately. Like, I didn't even think about it. There's, okay, there's AIDS, right? That's far worse. There's uh, pregnancy. Uh, I, I don't know, would I rather, I think I'd, I don't know if I'd rather have AIDS than knock a chick up. I think in the long run, the kid is going to be more expensive. Those antivirals are up there, but children are far pricier. Then there's, there's some sort of Lorena Bobbitt situation. Like, that's always a risk. You're gonna, Actually, you know what? That, that wouldn't be that bad because the only problems I've ever had in my life have originated from my dick. So if you just take that off, I might actually have a better existence on this planet. <laughs> But then there's, I mean, what? There's going to be some kind of, like, murder-suicide situation. That's always a potential. You never know, right? Uh, or, or jail time. Like, that could happen. You know, I'm just saying. And then there's herpes. And then anything you can clear up with an antibiotic. And, and then HPV, because we all already have it. Are you swapping out your hookah tips, guys? Make sure. That, you know, HPV. Um, yeah. Kill it, Drew. Good luck, yeah. Mr. President. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Fuck. Peg and Newsy. <laughs> There's some conversations that you really shouldn't have with your girlfriend. One of them is the number. I don't know if you guys have ever had that the number conversation. It's like, yeah, let me talk about how many people my penis has been inside of. No, let's avoid that at all costs. Uh, I actually kept count up until my first divorce. And it was... It had been like 12, and I figured marriage is an important thing. You want to be able to tell the woman how many times you couldn't wait for her, you know, and then hope she's in the same ballpark. But uh, I told her seven, so I lied anyway. And once I did that, I realized, oh, fuck, if I was going to make numbers up, I could have been a lot sluttier. It doesn't matter. But uh, after that divorce, and I realized that, you know, we're all just on the cold, dead rock floating around in space and existence is meaningless and it's just a momentary connection between you and a human being and you don't have to count those, I started to try to actively find out if my dick could outpace my arithmetic. And it worked pretty well. I got up there. Started working at a bar. That's always a good tip. Working at a bar. Yeah. Uh, or a hookah lounge, obviously. These guys do all right. Um, you hit about 20s or 30s and you start to forget some last names. About 40s or 50s, and you're forgetting some first names. <laughs> 60s and up, you're forgetting entire experiences 
all together, you have to actually subtract some just because you fucked the same chick twice, but you didn't remember it the first time. <laughs> I had a rule that it didn't count if I was blacked out unless there was photographic evidence for a while. That was my, that was my caveat. But, uh, but yeah, this is all shit that you don't want to tell your lovely young girlfriend. Like, oh, yeah, psh, are you kidding? I don't count women that I've slept with. I count STDs at this point. That way I can keep it in one hand. That's, that's nice. They're more comfortable. And girls, girls have all kinds of ways to get around the number. That's the fucked up thing. Girls have that cat, they, they, they backtrack. I don't know if you guys are backtracking. It's like, you know, they don't want to feel like a slut, but they want to get laid. So what do you do? You just fuck an ex. It's like, well, there was, there was Bob, and then there was Steve, and then there was Kevin, but then there was Bob again. So technically, I'm still only at 25. <laughs> so, it's like their whoredometer doesn't roll over. Okay. Bob's always taking my sloppy seconds, man. Yeah. <laughs> so, Kevin, where would you think they would keep a whoredometer on a woman? <laughs> Somewhere near the purse. Taint. Taint, Taint. absolutely. <laughs> that's, and that's how you get it to roll back. You fuck him in the ass. It's like running a car backwards to try to roll the miles back <laughs> to save a little money on the trade-in. It's just rolling over. And, bam. Yeah. Just shut the fuck up! God damn it! Alright, sorry. Not an interactive experience, you fucking comics. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, group sex is worse. You start knocking off double digits in the same night. The thing about group sex, and really the whole number conversation, like, I'm not bragging. I mean, really, it was quantity over quality, for sure. Like, 25% maybe were attractive individuals, and everyone else was really fucking sketchy. But that's the thing. When you get into group sex, like, think about it. The, the people who are willing to do it are not people that anyone would want to watch actually in that. It's really creepy. And it gets clicky. It's a geometrical nightmare. Someone always comes first, and then they're left out for the rest of the time. you got to go hang out in the corner and jerk off. It's awkward. It's awkward, Andrew. Stay away from group sex. <laughs> I know you had a big orgy plan later, but uh, <laughs> I just picture Andrew as the guy in the corner the whole time. Oh shit! <laughs> Fall over Kevin's car. Uh, Jesus. Um, yeah, you know, I don't know. The only number that you should keep track of is like abortions. That's the only one that I really care about. How many human beings have you killed inside your uterus? That's one we can get down on. I can, I'd like to know. But really, I only want to know because I'm just wondering if she's okay with that. So if I get unlucky, she'll take care of mine too. My ex-wife, uh, this is a horrible thing to admit about someone who's not here, but uh, my ex-wife had had five abortions. Yeah, and I judged her for it. I mean, I really, but, but then when it came time to suck mine out, it was like, yeah, sweet, number six, you know, we got... You get a free stamp at the fucking Planned Parenthood. You get the card. Six ones half off. Um, but really, like, here's, if you've had five abortions, at that point, that's just your preferred method of birth control. Like, it's not... And the fucked up thing was the shitty Nuva ring that she was on that never worked uh, cost 60 bucks a month with our insurance, but the abortion was only 20 so it actually made better fiscal sense to just knock her up once or twice a year and take care of it than to actually pay 60 bucks a month for the abortion. I wish that was a joke. Fuck. <laughs> I don't have a punchy, snappy punchline to that. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this. Pregnancy porn is crazy in demand. Pregnancy porn, like, I ran across it at Castle one time. I was shopping for novelty porn. Found some weird shit. Couldn't buy the pregnancy porn. It freaked me out too much. I did buy... a the world's only midget squirter DVD. That was nice. <laughs> and how the fuck do you build that as the world's only? How do you know? Like, did you check? Did you find uh, someone contact every female midget? Excuse me, man. Did you ejaculate? No, okay, thanks. Well, we're looking for a real special lady. Uh, that video was horrible. But a few months after that shopping trip, a uh, buddy of mine, AJ Martinez, where is he? Yeah, yeah AJ had a fucking uh, baby shower. So... I'm thinking, gag gifts, so I go back to Castle <laughs> to buy some pregnancy porn, and it wasn't there, I couldn't find it. So I go up to the clerk, and he's like, oh yeah, no, that shit flies off the shelves. We can't keep that in stock. He's like, we, we have to order that weekly. It's like crazy in demand. So instead of the gag gift, I went to AJ 
with a really lucrative, limited time money-making opportunity <laughs> that he and his wife could have taken advantage of. Just saying, take care of college before she even comes out. It'd be great. But I wonder if that's why late-term abortions are so heavily legislated against, because the porn industry is a big money industry. You think about it, like, just to prevent that kind of like some sort of puppy mill situation from developing, it's really. The star of the film gets DP'd, the co-star gets DNC'd. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think I'm done. Thanks, guys. I'm